Hi guys, welcome to Tool Optics. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Ryobi Stud Finder. The reason I bought this is because my old stud finder, which is a Stanley, is kind of a little bit worse for wear. I've lost the back plate, the battery keeps falling out. Still kind of works pretty well, but I just thought, let me, let me test out the new Ryobi one, see if it's any good. Now, this thing should be a lot better than the Stanley because I think this costs about 50 bucks. This is about 20 bucks, so more than double the price. Um, I'm really hoping that it's going to live up to what it's showing in this uh, advert and actually show the width of the stud, that would be really handy. But in order to do that, I'm going to build myself a fake wall uh, so that I know where the studs are and what's behind the wall. And for that, I'm going to use this piece of plasterboard. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's the first test with the Stanley, and this is just a single stud. And as you can see, it picks up the center of the stud exactly in the center. For some reason, the electrical detection uh, light comes on the whole time with the Stanley. So does the Ryobi. So let's see how the Ryobi does picking up the stud. Finds the outside width, and then it does pretty much show the width of the stud as you move past and it found the center of the stud pretty accurately. Now we move on to the double stud. Here's the Stanley, and it finds the middle of the first stud, keeps going all the way to the middle of the second stud, and then uh, shows the edge. So that was pretty accurate. Let's see how the Ryobi does. Finds the edge of the first stud, and then it kind of moves along the lights, don't quite move in the right pattern, but they do disconnect when the stud ends. The Stanley didn't pick up the water pipe, but it did pick up the center of the single stud next to the pipe. Let's see what the Ryobi does. It also doesn't pick up the water pipe, but it does pick up the edge of the stud. And because it's a single stud, it does kind of show the width of that stud. Okay, so having done all those tests, uh, which one would I rather have? Which one would I have spent my hard-earned cash on? Well, actually, I think the Stanley, even though it's less than half the price, actually did a better job. Uh, when it came to a single stud, the Ryobi kind of picked up that stud pretty well, showed the width of the stud. But when it came to the double stud and the one with the water pipe next to it, it didn't detect the water pipe, 
gave a few funny readings around the double stud. Whereas this Stanley, it's a lot cheaper, found the middle of the stud pretty, pretty much most of the time. It also didn't detect the water stud, but hey, for half the price, I reckon I'd go with the, with the cheaper one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.